Hello and welcome back to a, another video on things that um, I have changed or um, improved on uh, while we're in lockdown. Um, I've got a question for you guys. Um, I want you to comment down on, below on this video on items that you may have had in the past um, where you've now maybe bought and improved on. That could have been uh, a new fridge or new drawer system, maybe storage boxes. Um, what did you have in the past and what have you done to change it, whether improve it, um, maybe made the uh, made it smaller. Um, one thing that I have changed, uh, which I have been meaning to change for um, a number of months, um, is the camping chairs. Now I've been using a dead cheap 10-15 pound camping chair only because it serves a purpose um, but um, I have increasingly become um, aware of the amount of space I am uh, struggling with now with the drawer system uh, and how I pack things and especially with taking the dog with me um, I am struggling for kind of space of where I put things um, now previously I still wanted to get these chairs uh, but uh, other things have kind of taken priority now what I've replaced it with is the front runner camping chair and why I chose this now some people might think well uh, you've got the front runner roof route the ladder are you sponsored by them no I am not sponsored by them um, I uh, on my own back have purchased these products uh, with my own money and I purchased these products because I know the product very well uh, I know it's uh, a good quality product that really you're paying for the quality and the research um, from the company of uh, actually knowing what they're doing, uh, knowing that you'll get a product that's going to last a lifetime, and and it's built to a quality of, to the standard of how much you're basically paying for. Um, what well, I think so anyway. Prime example of the roof rack. Um, yes, it was expensive, um, but the price outweighs the weight of the roof rack. Um, Front runner roof racks are, I think, the most lightest roof rack you can get. Um, also, it's aluminium, so it won't rust. Um, how many times have you had to take your roof rack off to um, powder coat of sandblast and strip and then repowder coat? How many times have you had to clean all the rust spots off your vehicle because your roof rack's rusted? Um, so that's another option. But I won't go into too much detail with why I purchased all these products. Uh, it was an example of why I've chose this product because the way it folds um, down to one sixteenth of its uh, size, uh, one sixth of a size, sorry. Um, so anyway, I purchased one of these uh, chairs hoping that my partner may like the other, uh, may like it, but unfortunately she still prefers her old camping chair. So uh, it looks like I'm just going to stick with one chair, um, but um, it has made it easier for me to pack the chair away. Um, unfortunately they don't come with bags, but it's not a big problem because it's going to go inside anyway. So. Uh, who puts a camping chair on the roof rack, especially in the UK when we get so much wet weather. So, uh, I'll show you an example of why I chose this chair uh, and the comparison of the size and the way it's packed away. Um, and I'll show you where I will be basically putting it in the, in the car uh, and where I would normally put my chair in the car as well. Okay, so you can see the actual size of the chair comparison compared to a normal camping chair. You can see it is quite square. Um, it's slightly a little bit heavier because of the metal of it. Um, but you can see uh, how thin the chair is. Um, it makes it a lot easier for me to pack away in a, a small car uh, like mine.
compared to a long camping chair uh, that you may have at home. Now, don't get me wrong, those camping chairs are great. They're comfy. Yes, they're kind of easy to pack away, um, but for the size of the vehicle I have, the, the Suzuki Jimny, um, it's a little bit tricky to try and place it. The only kind of place I can fit them is behind the seats. Um, so with this, I can place it nearly anywhere in the back. So you're thinking, well, how basically, how does this actually open into a chair? Well, I'll show you. So basically, there is a strap on the side and a strap underneath. And you unstrap those. Basically, you hold down the bottom and open these up like so. Hold the bottom down and lift up. Expand it out. And there you have it, as easy as that. It literally takes a matter of less than 10 seconds. Um, and it's really comfy. So you can see it looks like more of a, like a film director's chair than a comfy, relaxing camping chair. Um, you've got little pockets for your phone, uh, a little cup holder. On the other side, you've got a little pocket to put uh, any gubbins you want, a book or um, just any food. Um, and yeah, it's, it probably doesn't look that comfy, but it's surprising when you sit on it, it's, you know, at the end of the day, it's a chair. Um, you know, you sit at table height, which is great. So if you do have a table, uh, you're not having to um, look up at the table or look down. You know, it is pretty comfy. And at the end of the day, I bought this so it would pack away nice and easy uh, in the car, uh, hoping that it would be, re you know, would be comfy. So that is the front runner uh, chair, basically. Uh, not much else to it. And it's same again, easy to put away. You fold down this, the back, collapse it. push down and then fold the sides away and basically you do the strap like so and then the strap on the uh, other side and then you've got your handle as well which you can pick up so just a quick um, little snapshot of where the chairs would normally go so before the drawer was fitted uh, both uh, both chairs would go across the back of the seat and they would sit quite comfortably uh, in between the console um, and then basically they would sit on top of each other behind the chair. Now it may be able to do one but I don't think the second chair would fit uh, without the seat interfering with the seat um, but the new chair will is going to easily sit behind here. As you can see, because it's square, it can fit in behind here. Um, I may put it there, depending on what else goes in behind the seat. But the idea would be to slide it in the back like so, um, and then strap it down. As you can see there, it fits in really well between the drawer and the side of the car. And that will get strapped down as well to stop it getting moved around. So there you have it guys, uh, the front runner uh, camping chair. So if you've got any ideas of things that you want to uh, change or replace, or things that you maybe think could uh, swap out for smaller or more compact uh, items in your car, then drop a comment down below and uh, see what your ideas are of uh, of your camping gear and uh, if you've got any questions or anything uh, that I use in uh, on my camping trips then please drop a comment below and uh, we'll uh, have a look at those uh, those questions for you. Alright guys, see you later.